Alrighty coach, so another season is quickly coming up, starts tomorrow. Uh, how do you feel about the season and uh, are you ready for tomorrow? I think we are ready for tomorrow. Uh, home, that home first home meet of the year is always a big challenge. Um, and actually, uh, to me, the bigger challenge is we're not starting off with kind of like an easy meet. Uh, I mean, we brought in t two very solid regional foes here in uh, Clemson and East Carolina. We've got a 12 team field, so we've actually got a pretty big meet for an opener. But I think that's going to propel us well for the rest of the season. I've been very happy with the first two and a half weeks of practice, particularly the last week of practice, I think as things have really come together nicely. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Is it, what are the challenges with having such a challenging meet to start off the year? How does that add to the difficulty of it's the first meet of the year and you do have a pretty challenging field this year? Well, I think you, you would always like to back off a little bit before a meet in terms of your training and things like that. But I think none of us in the field can afford to do that with our conference championships and our regional championships still being eight and ten weeks away. So I feel like each team is handicapped in the same way in that we're still training pretty hard and not backing off that much. Um, so, yeah, it is a challenge to kind of balance that a little bit. You always want to try and win at home if you possibly can. But at the same time, we're preparing for, for bigger fish later in the year in regards to both the SEC and the regional. And today you named your team captains for the year. Can you kind of tell us about who you named and a little bit about why they were named captains this year? Well, uh, our captains process is, is an election uh, by their teammates. So I think it's a recognition of the leadership that both of them have shown during the course of their career. There are two seniors for us, uh, Allie Mueller. Allie's been a captain in the past and she's done a fantastic job as a captain. She earned academic All-American honors last year. Uh, on the track, she's uh, just missed making the final in the SEC in the eight, excuse me, in the mile in the 1500 the last couple of years. So she's been competing at a very high level. She was our number two cross country runner last year at the conference championships. Just a tremendous competitor. Uh, who's developed very nicely for us as an athlete. So she's just a great role model all around. Um, Colleen is just uh, is also similarly someone that's developed very well into being a good, solid uh, crush co competitor for us, very consistent in our top five last year, did a great job at both the conference and the regional meet. But she's just got a tremendous personality, also always very positive. Um, always looking out for other people, so I think they're going to do a great job. They're going to do a great job as captains for us. And finally, I know there's football tomorrow, but obviously it's our home opener with cross country. A lot of rewards still for fans to come out to cross country tomorrow. Why should they come out there tomorrow before football and just make it a full day? Well, one thing is is we're running against Clemson, which is always a big uh, always a big issue at South Carolina, as it should be. Um, I'd like folks to think of it maybe as a little bit of a scavenger hunt in that they get out there and then they're rushing to get back here for the football game. The other thing is I feel like our promotions people have done a great job with the giveaways and the, uh, we're a double points event if you're a student and you're trying to work on getting your points. So hopefully all of those things will come together to give us a good crowd out there tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Coach, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.